An amazing find in Newport, an underground structure discovered in the spring beneath an old gas station. Next month, archaeologists will be heading down into the spring to study its historical significance to the city. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has more, new at 530. A recent discovery in Newport has local historians very excited. The small underground stone structure that was recently discovered in Newport is packed with history. It's not your average cistern that may be as old as the city itself. That means its origins could go back to 1639 when Newport was settled. Ruth Taylor from the Newport Historical Society says it was unearthed here at the now closed Coffee Sitco gas station. So why were they digging in the first place? A group of citizens came together, bought the property and wanted to commemorate the original spring. The original spring is one of the central historical markers for the city by the sea. So to come onto this island, which was mostly attractive for its saltwater port, and discover that it was also really easy to get drinking water. Um, it made this a very attractive place to settle. Coming in at about 10 feet in diameter and 12 feet deep, the structure was likely built to capture water from the spring. But RISD instructor and urban spelunker Nick DePache wants to know more. DePache is all in on this exploration and will actually go inside the cistern around the beginning of March. And what we do is we go down there in a completely objective way and document it by photography um, and most importantly by measured drawing. One of the big questions will be to figure out how old it actually is. Also pitching in on the project are Salva Regina researchers and students, as well as an Italian association called Roma Saturania, who are used to finding really cool things underground. Because this is a typical occurrence in Rome. Here it's really exceptional to find something underground. In Rome it's almost an everyday occurrence. Depache will be announcing his initial results from his underground journey in mid-March. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.